in reality, I know that it's supposed to be a slow season right now. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what everybody's saying, that it's really, really slow out there. But it's, it's not for me. I have a huge house clean out today. Tomorrow I'm booked up. I have four jobs tomorrow. And then Sunday I'm booked up. And then Saturday I got to do an estimate. So like I have work almost every day. I'm doing something every day. Uh, and I, the thing crazy about it, I have two estimates on Saturday that I'm going to. I have no jobs on Saturday. I did that on purpose because Texas high school football. I want to watch some football. But I have two huge estimates that I know I'm going to get. They're customers of mine. And then Sunday, I have a huge job. It's just like a $2,500 job, a storage unit in Dallas. So I, I don't get what people are saying. It's slow, but I, I do realize this. I was watching this guy, and I guess he's an internet guru guy, right? He's a social media guru. His name's Gary Vee. And he was saying, he was talking in front of a crowd. And I never listened to this guy, never listened to him. And I was just in the restroom and I sat it down and I just Instagram the next, whoever was next, and he was next. And he says that in front of the crowd, he said, guys, you're gonna really hate me. I want everybody to go home and post 15 pieces of content on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, eBlogger, and he just started naming them. I want you to post 15 pieces of content every day for the rest of your life and see what happens to your business. And I was like, wait a minute, I already do that. I already do that anyway. I post like 25 pieces of content daily almost. <coughs> it started to make me realize that <coughs> it doesn't matter if I tell y'all to do it or he tells you to do it. You're not gonna do it because it's something that you're not used to doing. It's not content that's relevant to your business. It's not even relevant to your business to do something like this. So it doesn't really matter. But one of the reasons I stay busy all the time and I'm always working is because I do post a lot of content. I'm always posting videos or content. Regardless of the fact, I just wanna say that in the 16 years that I've been doing Junk Removal, I've never paid for any ads. I've never paid for Facebook. I've never ran a campaign with Google Ads. I've never done House Call Pro, Home Advisor, Trip Advisor, any of the advisors. Um, my business has been raised, has been built and raised on the fact that organic traffic is free, and I use it to my advantage to my business. Okay. Anyway, uh, right now I'm heading over to do a mattress, and then I got a big house clean out. I'll record the mattress, a little of the house clean out that I'm going to do. Uh, Jamon Dupree of MJD Hauling is going to meet me there for the house clean. I'll need some help with it. And it's just going to be me and him doing it today. So it's going to take us a couple hours to knock it out. But really, that's all I have on the schedule today. Those two big jobs. and uh, Well, one big job and then one 30-minute job or 15-minute job. But it's in a storage unit, so i got to go check it out. Then I also, oh, I have an estimate today for a small garage clean out. They just want to know what it's going to cost them. I doubt I even get that job, so... <laughs> For right now, let's go to the first job of the day, which is a mattress pickup at a storage unit. See you there, guys. Kind of spooky in here. Nobody's here. Uh, I love these jobs, but sometimes it's a little harder than you imagine. So I charged a lady $75 for a mattress. Uh, but she told me it's on the third floor of a storage unit. I won't be there. Do I need to be there? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, you don't need to be there. Just tell me everything. So she's not here actually. So after she told me it was on the third floor, I said, ma'am, I got to charge you double. She didn't care. She was like, fine, there's car. Whoa. on the third floor there's only 600 700s and 800s that's it this looks like a dead end Holy anyway 
I decided to go on the second floor. I'm gonna go on the second floor. Well, this is really frustrating. All right, so uh, here's what happened. I removed the mattress just a while ago, and apparently this guy had a headboard, like a makeup headboard. I don't know what the fuck it is. Anyway, I have to remove this too. But I told him, I said, if I'm removing a headboard, I got to charge more, right? So it's going to be 150 for the mattress. 150 for the mattress and another 50 bucks for this headboard. So $200 for the whole job. This thing is not light. So I'm gonna get the mattress. Uh, I threw that on the side of the building and then I'm gonna pick this up and I'm done. I'm gonna go do the house clean out in a few minutes. But that was a shit show of a mess. Yeah, not the funnest junk removal I've done in a while. Anyway, I'm gonna head out in this video and I'll get back to you in a few minutes, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Javon's got his camera. So we're at the uh, garage clean out today. I'm not gonna do a long video. I want to go. I need to go and uh, do some more work. The junkyard haunted Christmas. Junkyard Christmas. Anyway, um, a few good here that we're gonna take home. We want to do a time lapse and all that good stuff. He's gonna come and finish the rest of this, and then we're gonna go empty my my uh, box truck right now. Uh, in this job, give you an update. We're gonna end this up. Here it goes. This is all okay. Catch y'all back in a minute. Let y'all know what. Dunzo. Garage is clean. Are you satisfied, sir? I am very satisfied with your service. Two thumbs up. <laughs> that was not rehearsed. That was for real. That was real stuff right there. Not rehearsed. He read the script. He read the script. No, he didn't. I didn't give him the script yet. I didn't give him the script. There it is. All right, guys. I'm gonna head out of here. I'm done. Just finished up uh, doing a clean out. Garage clean out. Hit him up for 600 bucks. Not so bad. Uh, I was wearing my outfit, you know, my not my outfit, my uniform, and then it got way too hot, so I take everything off. Look at my hair, dude, it's all over the place. So we're going to the landfill in the day. Not so bad. I did a $150 job earlier. Uh, $150 job earlier. Another $125 job, including this job. So I'm at like what, eight something, eight something five. I'm not sure. Something like that. Not so bad for today. I only recorded the two jobs that I did. Um, anyway, I'm going to landfill. Going to dispose. I will talk to y'all later, guys. <sighs> Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, next year, the Junk Removal Summit 2024, uh, March. Bye-bye. Are you ready to elevate your junk removal business to new heights? Look no further. The 2024 Junk Removal Summit in March is coming to Dallas, Texas, and you won't want to miss this golden opportunity to learn, to connect, and grow. There's going to be so many event highlights, inspiring guest speakers, networking extravaganza, in-depth workshops, a business boosting tips. You're going to show off your brand. It's going to be an unforgettable experience. I'm calling out all current and future junk removal times to join us at the 2024 junk removal summit in dallas texas here in march next year and 
open registration will be coming up soon. So check out the videos for that link underneath there. I will see you there.